So hi everyone and I am the most happiest person today because someone who is very very special to me is here on the sets today to have a candid talk to you. It's none other than the famous 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 Dr. Tushar Mehta. So Dr. Tushar Mehta is someone who does not need any introduction. He is a gem of a person, a great orthopedician and a wonderful teacher. Welcome, Thank Dr. Pishan. Thank you so much, Such a pleasure to be sitting right next to you and, you know, doing this conversation. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. And we all know that we are all very loved and there are many reasons why we are all so loved. One of the reasons is definite reason is that he is a great clinician and an even better teacher. So, Dr. Tushar, orthopedics is a very wonderful branch. Tell me, what is the time to get out of it? Yes, I have to do a lot of teaching. Bhi karni hai. I mean, it's a blessing for the students. But how did you call this call? Kaise liya? A passion uh, for teaching, love mm -hmm. of students. It started as a... Uh, it started... The journey started uh, with, a, with being a student at dance. Ah. So, uh, basically, you know, to look up to Dr. Sumer and at that point of time, I thought that, you know, the calling was there. And wow. uh, uh, student as dams, a student at dams and then teacher at dams. And then finally, it started as a kind of a, uh, just a hobby maybe, mm -hmm. but it became a passion later on and uh, love of students and affection which they gave, they kept it going. That's, that's so, so cool and it's really inspiring as well. And Dr. Tushar Mehta ka ek apna hi style hai padhane ka and it's unmatchable. So Dr. Tushar, agar mein aapse poochhoon ki orthopedics, you know, hamare bachchon ka jo exposure hota hai, only happens in final year. Yes. And that took probably for a very short span of time. Yes. Right? So... What do you think would be an ideal way for them to not only get introduced to orthopedics, but also learn it? So, how should they manage it? Which book should they read? And you have given so many big notes, how should they best utilize it? So basically, it starts in मतलब exposure जैसे आपने कहा सबका final year में ही होता है। जब पहली बार पता लगता है कि it's a part of surgery और 30 marks की आएगी। But the most important part is कि इसमें अलग से pass होना पड़ेगा। so, तब जाके लोगों को एकदम से याद आता है। Normally ये two third of the year जब निकल जाता है तब याद आता है और फिर लोग जाते हैं किताब खरीदने, मशहूरी खरीदते हैं। फिर उसके बाद उन्हें फिर उसके बाद फिर उसके बाद उन्हें लगता है कि किताब तो मैंने ले ली है, अब मैं इसमें पढूं क्या? तो फिर वो एक सीनियर के पास जाते but I'm proud to say that in the dams, in the past 10 years, we have changed it from a total viewpoint. And now everybody is so inclined and interested towards the subject that it's at par with pediatrics. That's wonderful. AIMS is one institute where it comes in pre-final year. It's an individual subject. So, and more or peripheral aims coming in, so they have realized that they have more importance because it's an independent subject. So, I think that the polytrauma part of surgery is also overlapped. There is a significant overlap with radiology. So, I personally feel that if you have a little bit of an inclination towards surgery or surgical branches, then you should pay more attention and focus on the subject because you are covering an overlap. The other thing is that 30-40% overlap in musculoskeletal radiology. So, this gives you an ease and convenience when you study radiology. As far as MCQs are concerned, uh, we contribute to about 8 to 12 MCQs. Uh, but yes, I think that you have to read the book in the book in the book in the book. You have to see flow charts. Okay. I mean, huge respect to Dr. Jitinder Maheshwari for writing such a wonderful book. And uh, uh, they have to read the book in the book in the book in the book flow charts. Hai. Uh, flow charts you can read from there and if you have just entered into it, uh, rest, uh, you, can, uh, you, know, you can come to us at DAMS and बाकी के क्लिनिकल स्टोरीज हम आपको पढ़ा देंगे। Absolutely और वो ऐसे पढ़ाएंगे कि वो आप अभी नहीं भूलेंगे। And that also makes me ask you one question because आप जब बोल रहे हो तो मैं अपना टाइम भी याद कर रही हूँ। और being being a girl हम जैसे आपने कहा बिल्कुल हमें नहीं पहले पता था कि औरतों में अलग से भी पास होना है तो हम ज़्यादा वर्ड नहीं जाते थे। और एक्सपोजर भी नहीं था और टीचर्स भी हमें नहीं पढ़ाते थे कि लड़कियां हैं क्या पढ़ाना है इनको चलो जाओ मस्ती करो सो आई थिंक द पर्सपेक्टिव इज चेंजिंग नाउ विद अ लॉट ऑफ गर्ल्स आल्सो वांटिंग टू टेक अप ऑर्थोपेडिक्स मैंने देखा है आपके पास हमेशा जब हम 
नीट पी की काउंसिलिंग भी स्पेशली करते हैं देर इज ऑलवेज दिस क्वेरी सो यू नो कैन यू टेल योर लिसनर्स योर स्टूडेंट्स कि इफ देर आर गर्ल्स हु कैन रियली लुक एट इट एज अ इंडिविजुअल ब्रांच फॉर देम सेल्स टू परस्यू इन फ्यूचर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बहुत बड़ा टैबू है दैट इट इज़ अ मेल डोमिनेटेड एंड ओरिएंटेड ब्रांच अनफॉर्चुनेटली मोर इन नॉर्थ इंडिया एज यू कम्पेयर विद साउथ इंडिया एज ऑफ नाउ आई कैन गिव यू रफ एस्टिमेट दैट अराउंड हंड्रेड एंड एटी प्लस गर्ल्स आर डूइंग देयर रेजिडेंसी इन ऑर्थोपेडिक स्पैन इंडिया एंड हाउ आई एम कनेक्टेड विद ऑल ऑफ दैम इज दैट मैंने क्या किया हुआ है कि हर एक टीयर वन टीयर टू सिटी में जो लड़की ऑर्थोपेडिक्स कर रही है या कर चुकी है so i use uh, as a standard reference so any girl who comes to me or messages me on social media that i am mm. in finally okay. i am inclined towards orthopedics i spoke about this to my brother father parents they made fun of me mm. told I to my parents imagine. they said no it's not possible told to my friends it's not possible i spoke to one of my professor he said no no you won't be you know isme aap nahi kar payengi isme muscle power chahiye so sabse pehle isme koi muscle power nahi chahiye isme we have sophisticated instruments in the ot and wo sab sabse yeah. manage ho jata hai तो मैं आ, मैं कोशिश ये करता हूँ कि मैं उनको उनसे कनेक्ट करा देता हूँ एंड नाउ आई मीन एज वी स्पीक आई थिंक आई नो थ्री फोर वेरी गुड ऑर्थोपेडिक क्लिनिशियंस सर्जन्स हु आर ऑफ कोर्स फीमेल्स एंड देर वर्किंग इन पुणे मुंबई इन फैक्ट टू ऑफ द ग्रेट ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन्स ऑफ द कंट्री डेलिब्रेटली यू नो आई मीन आई वॉन्ट से कि उन्होंने फोर्स किया बट उनकी जो बेटियाँ उनकी जो डॉटर्स हैं वो भी ऑर्थोपेडिक्स में आई हैं वन इज इन डेली एंड वन इज इन मुंबई सो आई थिंक देर इज अ सिग्निफिकेंट शिफ्ट एंड दिस शिफ्ट इज देर फॉर लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स एंड दे कॉल इट द एफ ओ गैंग द फीमेल ऑर्थोपेडिक गैंग दे मेड देयर व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप एंड ऑल ऑल दो आई एम नॉट एडिड टू इट बट येस आई एम अवेयर ऑफ सम ग्रुप सो वेन आई रेफर देम अ फर्स्ट ईयर रेजिडेंट और अ सेकेंड ईयर रेजिडेंट so this is take the number and add in that whatsapp group that's super so that that is a really an insight i'm i'm sure a lot of our female listeners would have loved to listen to this and that opens up an opportunity for you you know because orthopedics is a is a terminal branch it's a wonderful branch and if you're not uh, maybe i'm wrong on that magar agar aapko zyada trauma aur usse dar nahi lagta hai then i think trauma is a part of uh, your three year program yes. after that most of the girls what i've seen is uh, they do amazing in pediatric orthopedics okay uh followed by they go for uh, kind of a uh, aesthetic orthopedics which includes a ah. uh, kind of overlap with plastic surgery oh, uh, in okay. fact uh, uh, aims rishikesh who is still headed by a, a, a lady a female orthopedic surgeon i mean she she must be around 60 now and uh, cmc vellore has head of the department uh, for pediatric orthopedics the head of the department is a female so there are actually female orthopedicians all over the country who are doing amazing for pediatric orthopedics uh because all the congenital anomalies and developmental defects and birth defects so they do amazing that's that's so nice to know and uh, that's a great insight so thank you so much for that and uh, dr dushan ji ye janna hai jab aap padha rahe hote ho and as you said you know you have evolved things have evolved and our content has evolved so you know jo hum padha rahe hain uh, i'm sure aap bahut sari cheezon ko refer karte honge bahut sare guidelines bhi इकट्ठा करते हो बिफोर यू गिव इट टू स्टूडेंट्स बट एक कॉन्स्टेंट क्वेरी रहता है बच्चे के दिमाग में कि इज दिस इनाफ फॉर माई प्रोफेशनल एग्जाम एज वेल एज फॉर माई कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम तो उस पर आप क्या कहना चाहोगे सी वॉट वी बिलीव इन डैम्स एंड वॉट माई पर्सनल बिलीफ इज ऑलवेज बीन एंड वॉट आई गैदर्ड एज अ स्टूडेंट एट डैम्स एज वेल दैट यू नो यू शुड बाइट ओनली वॉट यू कैन चू यू शुड रीड ओनली वॉट यू कैन रिमेंबर रिमेंबर ओनली वॉट यू कैन रिवाइज एंड रिवाइज ओनली वॉट यू कैन रिटेन <laughs> so what people do is that most of the times they go into a kind of a fomo when they finish off a topic from let's say one book hmm. and then they have a feeling that they should read the same thing from, from another, another book. book so what hmm. they do is they read one topic from two different sources and they end up confusing themselves idly sure. what they should have done is they should have read that same topic from one Again. source twice yeah so yeah. Uh, that's what my belief is and that's what i want to convey always that have faith in your strategy in your preparation and uh, i mean for, as far as orthopedics is concerned we are pretty clear with our more than one decade of experience that two mcqs will be from fractures one will be from tumor one will be from pediatric conditions one will be from sports injury two will be from the miscellaneous you know splints and cast so more or less you know we kind of i won't say master but we have acquired this art of understanding the mindset of an examiner who is going to set your mcqs so with experience you know you get these things and that's what my motto is to transmit to all my students pan india great 
And when he says that, he really means it because I know he's always true to his words and he really knows what he's saying. So since you've been talking about MCQs and now the NEET PG is around the corner, so maybe for the current listeners, can you give us five important topics or areas which you think are going to be definite questions? Yeah, for sure. So uh, supracondylar fracture, most common nerve injury what? is anterior intrusious nerve, which is a motor branch of median nerve. Then they will ask you a test on carpal tunnel syndrome, which will come in the form of an image based question. And the image would be somewhat like this and you will mark the answer as felon's test. Third, they'll give you an X-ray, which will be either a soap bubble appearance or a sunray appearance. For soap bubble, you'll mark GCT. For sunray, you'll mark osteosarcoma. Fourth, you will be getting a pediatric condition where they'll be giving you a guy with a short stature with short web neck with low posterior hairline and that will be clipple field syndrome. The fifth will be regarding some sort of a splint which will be most likely a knuckle bender or a cock up. Knuckle bender, I'll give you a hack. Metacarpals will be covered for cock up. They will be free. If you remember this, then I think these five MCQs are the most expected and probable MCQs. So all the best people and definitely don't miss this episode of you know, uh, where we have candid talks with our special, special faculty. And now uh, a lot of boring stuff we've talked about, Dr. Pachar. Let's go <laughs> on to something little, little personal. Well, uh, uh, but yes, uh, music is my all-time favorite. Uh, okay. Listening to it, of course, I can't sing. But uh, listening to it, uh, grooving to it, and a drive with the best music, with the best company, I think that's therapeutic. And uh, of course, not in the traffic, but uh, that's therapeutic. I mean, a, a long drive on a, on a smooth highway and uh, with the best company, I think that is something which can take away and heal away all the pains and aches of the day. Wow. And one thing that I will tell you about Dr. Sushar, you know, he has a great aura about himself and somehow, you know, at the first call you feel, oh, uh, should I talk to him? <laughs> but having been known him for so many years, I am so, so thankful that I know him. Yeah, I'm so you. thankful that he's in my life. He's a wonderful person, a wonderful friend. And, uh, you know, uh, I would just say that people around him always feel blessed. Thank you. Thank so you thank so you for much. being a great individual apart from, yes, orthopedician, teacher and <laughs> uh, 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 but yes, something that you are, and I think less people talk about that. So no, I wanted no, no. to say that. I hope you don't mind. No, no, pleasure is all <laughs> mine. And, and and I look up to you, not only as a colleague, or as an elder faculty, but also as an elder sister. It's so sweet of you. Okay, before we get too close now, <laughs> let's wind this up. So Dr. Tushar, thank you so thank much you. for being here today. It was really special for thank me so doing much. this. Thank you. And as we always say at DAMS, apna time apun? Khud laega.